Hey everyone, I am excited to show you the latest thing that I ordered off the internet, but before I do, I just wanted to make what to me is an exciting announcement. Um, so, for those of you that are in the San Antonio television station viewing area, I am going to be on um, our local morning news show, talk show, um, Tuesday, March 25th at 10 a.m. on San Antonio Living. I don't know when in the hour, the show's on from 10 to 11 every day, and um, I will be on sometime between 10 and 11, I'm not sure when. So if you happen to be in the San Antonio TV viewing area and you want to see me make my first appearance on live television and maybe have a chuckle at my expense, then go ahead and tune in at Channel 4, I should say. It's a WOAI. So thanks in advance for watching and I will try very hard to get uh, the video and then post it on the YouTube channel for those of you that can't tune in to uh, San Antonio local television. Okay, so I've seen, we've all seen the ads, the people unboxing these monthly beauty box subscriptions that no one has ever heard of. I always thought they were ridiculous. I will be just flat out and honest and a complete waste of money. I always figured I have a certain amount of money that I set aside to buy for beauty products and why waste my money on random stuff that I have no control over I'll just get what I want and be done with it. Well then I found this magazine a month or so ago called New Beauty and I was very intrigued about it. I talked about it um, on Instagram and Twitter and on here and many of you told me that they have an accompanying subscription box that goes with it. So I went online, I looked at the reviews, I found them to be interesting and so I thought what the heck, it's $29 which is higher I think than the other subscription services, but it's not that much compared to what I spend on beauty products over the course of a month. So I'll give it a go. You can cancel any time. If it stinks, I'll just stop. So I went online and instead of wasting our time giving you all those details about where to go and how much it costs and how often it comes, all that will be below. Um, so I went online, signed up, paid my $29. There might be tax. I can't remember. And that was it. Well, yesterday, kind of forgot about it. Yesterday the box showed up. So it comes in this big pink box. And there, there it is. And I will tell you that I did open it because I couldn't control myself, but then I put everything back in the box. I haven't used anything yet. So it just comes wrapped and it has this nice, um, you know, the packaging's nice. What can I say? For $29, it's good. And it's wrapped in tissue and there's a nice little thank you note. And then this is what I saw when I pulled it out. There's a, it says beauty to go with a little airplane on it. And these seem like sample sizes. There's a big test tube. Oh, it's huge. There was this bad boy. And then there um, is like a, a full booklet from It Cosmetics explaining, I think, everything in their product line that I have not looked through, but I will after this video. And then, which I really liked, is, which I didn't realize until it was at the bottom, is this test tube um, little pamphlet. And it tells you about the products and how to use them, everything that's inside. So let's just unbox it in the order that I um, took it out of the box. And I will just say one more time, I bought this with my own money. There's no affiliate links to this box. Buy it at your own peril. This is the first one, so who knows what other ones will look like. Okay, so I like this bag. I'm assuming that this is like a quart size bag, so I can never have enough of these for travel, so that's kind of cool. And then inside, I'm not going to review this stuff because I've never used it. Is this Pavonia Botanica? It says compliments. And I. Power Repair Line is what it says it is. I have no idea what it is. It's this Power Repair Cream, Age Defying Marine Collagen Cream. It's a pretty good size sample. And inside is like a coupon, it looks like, for. I don't know. If you want to order it, you can get it for less money or something. I have heard of this brand mentioned by other YouTubers. I have no knowledge of what it actually does. So I'll be reading up on it in my little booklet. There's also a philosophy full of promise dual action restoring cream for volume and lift. Good size trial. This seems like a, it's a moisturizer. It's supposed to give you fuller, firmer, uplifted skin. I have some doubts on that. I mean, other than lasers and knives, nothing is going to make my face do that. So, there is a little sample of Rodial? Rodial? I've never heard these things said out loud, so I'm sorry that I don't know how to say it. 
Rhodiol Stem Cell Superfood Facial Oil. And um, you're supposed to, it's supposed to target dehydration and fine lines for an instant glow. Looks interesting. And then this seems like a huge, you know, pretty good sized jar. It's from Suki Face. Really? Okay, Suki Face Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser, Lemongrass Extract, and Natural Sugar. Okay, that sounds a little grittier than I would like to put on my face, but I like the word lemongrass. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay, it's this solid goo. It looks like the consistency of like, I'm thinking of like raw, I'm thinking of raw honey. Looks like that. I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's like Play-Doh. It feels like Play-Doh. Okay. I guess it's an exfoliator. Ooh, I got some on my finger. It's very gritty. It's probably almost, it, it, could it be edible? I don't know if I would put this on my face. I'm a little nervous about physical exfoliants. We'll see. Maybe I could do my décolleté with it. It says wet hands massage between palms to activate foaming action. Apply in circular motions into facial skin and décolleté. Okay, that, that I will do. I'm not putting this on my face. Um, use once per day, morning or night, two to three times a week, depending on skin sensitivity. Excuse me while I wet my hands on my jeans. Okay, so that's everything that's in here. Anyway, it's kind of sticky. Okay, yeah. Then, hello, Itch Cosmetics, Heavenly Luxe Powder Brush. I believe this is full size. I mean, it's a humongous box. And it's a humongous box that's, hum it, it's sealed. Oh, but easy to open. So, I've heard many things about this brush. And I have an obsession with brushes. So, let's get this baby out. Ooh, ooh. It's soft. Okay, this is cool. This I'm very excited about. It's not very travel friendly. I mean, look at the girth of this thing. But I guess I could do this, this I don't know, powder, buffing in some kind of like more mineral type coverage, maybe even foundation. I'll have to read up on this baby, but it's soft. Okay, enough with the fondling. Let's get to the fun part. The test tube, what does it say? Share your feedback, you can go on their website. Okay, that's cool. This is recyclable, but I think I will keep this because it's, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's kind of neat. Has some little verbiage that I'm not particularly interested in. Let's just get to the good stuff. Okay, what do we have? Mally. Mally High Shine Liquid Lipstick. All I know about it is that Emily Noel 83 likes it. And it's in the, sh ooh, it's pretty. It's pretty. Mally's look. And, you know, I'm not going to put this over this, but i got to really get this thing started. Ooh, very nice neutral. I'm kind of moving away from neutrals right now, but this would be good layered, I think. Okay, what is this? It's a giant... It's thick, like whatever's in here is very padded. I love how these, can't they make things that are easy to pronounce? Really, they're made for beauty people. We're not the brightest bulbs in the chandelier. Why make it harder for us? Bioxidea Miracle 48. Excellence Diamond, face and body treatments, all skin types. And there's a coupon code for um, something. Okay, for best results, follow these easy steps. Appears to be some sort of mask. Can you see that? There. See, you put it on your face, and you wait, and then you take it off. And then, ooh. I guess you can take it off your face and then dissolve it in the bath. I have to read the guide. I'm not entirely sure what this does. I don't know. Interesting. Love a facial mask, though, so that's cool. This is awesome. Very good, hefty size. I'd say more than a trial size. Say travel size, it's a 10. Miracle even light. This is this is great. I use this stuff. I've never used the light, but that's perfect for summer. I'm noticing all of a sudden my hair is changing and it's getting oily. And while I used to be able to go seriously four, even five days without washing my hair, that is not the case anymore. Ooh, Orly, Orly, pretty color. Kiss the bride. All right, I've heard good things about this color, and this looks like it's my favorite shade. I'm very excited. This, by the way, is um, Essie, something with a bikini, teeny weeny bikini. I've worn this before in videos, 
and I'll say the same thing I said then, is the only bikini I'm wearing at this point in my life. Okay. What else? Okay, I'm still not sure what to do with this stuff. Um, this is huge. Just sit like the size of my, more than half my head. It's the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil. Apply oil on the go directly on face and neck for immediate hydration. Oh, it's a roller ball. I'm just... It has no scent. It's just... I don't know. What do you do with this? Would you want to roll oil on your face? I'm not getting this. Someone comment below. Of course, by the time you comment, I'll have looked this up on the internet, but... It doesn't smell. I know it's not meant to be a perfume, but why would I want to roll oil on my face? Is it sort of like... I guess to freshen up under the eyes if it gets cakey would be... I don't know. I'm curious though, it's a very good size of it. I know people love this stuff, I just don't know what to do with it. Okay, Lumen Pure Radiance Night Cream Vitamin C with Arctic Cloudberry. This is again a good size. Travel, does it smell like orange? Okay, it's sealed, that's nice. So I won't open it, I won't contaminate it. But um, that's cool, this is good for travel. I think it's a Finnish brand. Desiccant silica gel. Not using that. This, what is this? It's just, oh, okay. It's a teeny little tube called Grande Mascara. Lash boosting formula. It's really weird. Can you see? It's clear glass. So you can see the mascara like just kind of in there. I don't know. What's so great about this stuff? I'm just going to open it. Ooh, it's thick. See how thick it is? A little gooey there. Ooh, it's very gooey. Have you ever seen mascara do that? I don't know. I'll give it a go. We'll see. I will report back on some of these things. And then there's one thing left. Oh! Oh, this is cool. Um, a little tiny baby travel version of Glam Glow. Because, you know, you just never know when you're going to want to whip out a mud mask on the go. No, I'm kidding. Um, this will be fun. I am going to Dallas in the end of April and I am rooming, I'm going to like a YouTube kind of convention, it's kind of hard to explain, and I am rooming with Lisa SZ09 so maybe we can have a girls night in and mud mask ourselves. I feel like Gidget. Okay, I'm being a little slap happy. I should tell you all I have like two hours of sleep. I could not sleep. It's just one of those insomnia days. I know I'm talking faster than normal. I know I'm a little bit nuts. Um, I apologize. Had a few extra cups of coffee. Breathing. Okay, so now I'm getting the giggles. Oh my gosh. Well, that is all the stuff I have to say. Initial impression, I haven't tried any of this stuff, really. Um, that's a lot of really nice stuff. I mean, just this and this, and frankly this, for $29, and then you throw this in. I know the full size is like 18 or 19, so this is, I think, like 10. And whatever the heck this is, and this, just this, I mean, I, I think there's a lot, and I have not, honestly, um, I, for all the makeup I own and all the skincare products I've muddled through, I surprised, oops, I don't own any of these products. So this was, I think, a win-win. So I'm going to get the next one. I'll just keep re-upping and, um, until, the, until they don't meet my expectations, I guess. So this is kind of cool, I guess, for... I'm maybe not as jaded as I thought. If you've had this before, let me know. I have seen in most videos of people that do this, the first couple ones are always great, and then they just go Pfft. So I'll keep you posted if they stay at this level of expectation. But I'm excited. I know my weekend will be spent playing with a lot of fun things. I'm filming this on a Friday. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you um, in advance for watching me on San Antonio Living on Tuesday, March 25th at 10 a.m. on Channel 4 in San Antonio. And um, thank you for having said such nice, kind comments um, about it in advance. I'm thinking you in advance. I'm being really silly. I'm going to stop now. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.